When you're ready to get started, go to the Create a Website section on the Edinburgh website. And as you can see, a form is displayed. Fill in the appropriate fields. First of all, the website handle. That's the main part of what your website is to be called. Type in the site address for your domain. But if you don't have one at the moment, just leave that blank. Type in the brief description about what your website's about. Then your first name, last name, and your email address. And then click on Create. Within two minutes, your website will be created and you'll receive access details to log into your site. Initially, your website will look like this, but you have the power to change everything on the site from the start. First of all, select the login link and use the access details emailed to you to log in. Now that you've logged in, you'll see another section added to the main menu. That's administration. Go into that section. You can now change settings relating to your site, for example, your email address, so that all form submissions go directly to you. And if you have any Google Analytics code already, you can add your user agent number there. This can be added at any time though. You can also upload your company logo by selecting Choose File under the Logo for Banner. Navigate through your hard disk to choose the logo and then upload. The page refreshes and you can see the logo displayed in the banner. Also within settings, you can select the banner on all pages and remove the banner text since the logo says it all. You can also remove the text on the footer easily and add your own contact details that will be displayed on the footer of all pages. Now let's add a section. Go to the sections under administration and select add section. Let's choose to add a blog section and fill in the appropriate text fields. That's the name, the page title, description, some keywords, the whereabouts on the menu that you want it displayed and I've chosen after news here and make it public although you can keep it private until you have content in that particular section. And click Submit. Once the form is submitted, now you can see the blog section is now appearing in the menu. Going to the blog, you can now start to post a new article. There's so much to Edno that gives you a complete web solution from adding different types of content, having your own private document store, creating your own style, to optimising your site, for search engines and engaging with your audiences. Make a start. We're ready to help you get the most out of Etnu to benefit your business.